Are you a Heather? No. I'm a Veronica. Dear Diary, Heather says she teaches people real life. She says, real life sucks losers dry. If you want to f*** with the eagles, you have to learn to fly. I said, so you teach people to spread their wings and fly? She said, yes. I said, you're beautiful. Dear Diary, I want to kill. And you have to believe it's more than just selfish reasons. More than just a spoke in my menstrual cycle. You have to believe me. Oh Christ, I can't explain it, but... I'm allowed and understanding that my parents and these Remington University assholes have chosen to ignore. I understand that I must stop Heather. Betty Finn was a true friend, and I sold her out for a bunch of swatch dogs and diet coke heads. Killing Heather would be like offing the wicked witch of the west. Wait, east. West. God, I sound like a f***ing psycho. Tomorrow, I'll be kissing her aerobicized ass, but tonight... Let me dream of a world without Heather. A world where I am free. Dear Diary, my teen angst bullsh** has a body count. Everybody's sad, but it's a weird kind of sad. Suicide gave Heather death, Kurt a soul, Ram a brain. I don't know what it's given me, but I've got no control when over myself when I'm with JD. Are we going to prom or hell? Dear Diary, I've cut off Heather Chandler's head and Heather Duke's head has sprouted back in its place like some mythological thing my eighth grade boyfriend would have known about. Heather's even doing the old note trick. I've seen JD's way. I've seen Miss Pauling Fleming's way and nothing has changed. I guess that's Heather's way. And Jesus, what about JD? I can't get him out of my head. Wait, where's Heather going? Dear Diary, last entry. No one can stop JD. Not the FBI, the CIA, or the PTA. He once told me that the extreme always makes an impression. Well, now it's my turn. Let's see how the son of a reacts to a suicide he didn't perform himself. <laughs>